Right now at 4 o'clock, get ready for another round of snow. A winter weather advisory for most of us begins in just a couple of hours. How much we could see this time. Plus, people on the Kankakee River are waiting for ice jams to budge. The move made today by emergency management officials in Will County. Fire ripped through a suburban animal shelter overnight. The call went out for supplies, and this is what happened. That story's straight ahead. Good afternoon to you and thank you for joining us here at four o'clock. I'm Marion Brooks and I'm Alex Maragos. We're going to start here at four with a look at our weather. The temperatures are slowly getting better, but more snow is on the way. Now we're taking a live look down the Chicago River. Good to see the skies all calm right now, but that will change after dark. Yes, it will. A winter weather advisory begins at six o'clock, just a couple of hours. So let's get the latest now from Storm Team meteorologist Aisha Scott. Aisha. Yeah, and most of our area under that winter storm advisory, winter weather advisory uh, until 10 o'clock or noon, I should say tomorrow tomorrow afternoon. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a second because we could see several rounds of snow. Uh, notice here, this is satellite and radar. The snow is pushing into Iowa. It's starting to move farther off to the east, so already crossing into parts of Illinois. Out there right now, though, we are quiet. It's 23 at O'Hare. feels like 14. Now, as we go through the rest of the evening, though, our snow chances will continue to increase. So after about 6, 7 o'clock in the city, we'll start to see those snow showers increase. And then overnight tonight, we're dealing with snow showers. And as we head into tomorrow morning, most of us will be dry from any widespread snow. However, we've got lake effect snow to talk about for parts of northwest Indiana. We'll have that info. Also, it gets really cold into the day Friday, too. I'll show you the details coming up in my full forecast. All right. Thanks so much, Aisha. And now to an update on flooding fears along the Kankakee River in Will County. Big chunks of ice have now jammed the river's flow. Authorities say so far today, no flooding has been reported. That's good news for residents who are nervous. 25 years. That's a long That's a time. time. Yeah. Law and Order SVU premieres tonight at 8 o'clock, after Law and Order at 7, and before Organized Crime at 9. So you have a nice little block yep. of Law and Order there. And then stay tuned, of course, for the NBC5 News at 10 o'clock with our very own Stephen Holt and Allison Rosati. And that is going to do it for us here at 4 o'clock. Oh, Stephen and Allison. Yeah, you got your Law and Order routine <laughs> yeah, back. All oh. night. In the criminal justice system. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, separate but equally that's important amazing. groups. There you go. I can't believe it's been that many years. I know. Wow. This is Dick Wolf's beginning what with the run. trilogies yes. and all the other routines. He's, he's, he's been on a good run. Yeah. He's been on a bit of a run here. Same. Yeah. Good family. Right. Thank Thanks you so, so much. much. You got it. All right. Straight ahead on our news at 5 o'clock, we'll take a closer look at the possibility of a White Sox move to the South Loop. What it would mean for the team and two Chicago neighborhoods. Primary season is underway for the 2024 presidential election, and the focus is going to be on Chicago for the Democratic National Convention this summer. We have a preview. And did one summer tradition in the suburbs become too popular? A big change to an event that started to draw comparisons to Mardi Gras. The News at 5 is next.